This past weekend, the Trinity Baptist Cathedral in Mount Dore marked 80 years of existence. It was the first Baptist cathedral in this country. There were no celebrations, of course, due to the closure of religious institutions because of the pandemic, but Ryan Bechu explored this historical building on invitation of Archbishop Jeremiah Mason. As he tells us in this story, 80 years on, it remains a symbol of how spiritual Baptists triumphed over oppression and abuse. Hidden in plain sight, this building sitting on the side of the priority bus route obliquely opposite Tawasa's head office in St. Joseph is Trinidad and Tobago's first spiritual Baptist cathedral. We've been invited by Archbishop Jeremiah Mason as the cathedral marks 80 years of existence. And inside, it's easy to tell the decades have dealt a devastating blow to the architecture of this building. Archbishop Mason now sits on the chair his mother and founder, Veda Mason, once occupied. Still alive at 95, by the way. He is her direct successor. Inaugurated on January 20th, 1950, the church itself was opened 10 years earlier on September 13th. It's a remarkable feat given the circumstances spiritual Baptists faced at that time. The 1917 Shouter Prohibition Ordinance that banned the practice of the faith was still very much intact. It wouldn't be another 11 years before spiritual Baptists would be liberated. So though this cathedral may require refurbishment, it stands as a symbol of triumph for the spiritual Baptist faith. To those who did not know, um, what the struggle was like would say we went through this and we went through that but it was normal for the elders in those days because they understood what john the baptist went through they understood what jesus went through so they saw it like a line by Smokey and bunty it may sound dropey but the baptist people are prone to hardship Set on the table, documented milestones of Archbishop Mason's four decades in the seat. Meeting former Prime Minister Kamala Prasad Bisesa, he shows me invitations to meet presidents from as far back as Nur Hassan Ali to Max Richards to present day Her Excellency Paula May Weeks. Now his mission is to pave a path for the future of the spiritual Baptist faithful. I'd like to leave a legacy that the youths would have somewhere where they can come and be trained to become priests, bishops, archbishops, etc. But as we speak, it's impossible to miss several other religious pictures close by. Mother Lakshmi and Lord Shiva, the Prophet Muhammad hidden behind, Buddha atop the grotto, outside a statue of Mother Kali, and Saint Martha, the sister of the Blessed Virgin Mary. When you become a spiritual Baptist, there is something called the morning ground. And this is the conflict today in the faith. When you go down and moon, you have to meet a deity, deity, you have to meet a prophet, you have to meet a king, you have to meet a saint, you have to meet with God, sometimes you meet with Satan, it may sound jokey. Moaning is a way of fasting and meditating. And when you are traveling in the spirit, you meet with the different spirit people and they give you gifts. On the back of a divisive general election, Archbishop Mason says such a faith can bridge the gap between peoples of Trinidad and Tobago. So we can teach to, to bring each other as one. We have that type of power. So we are saying we can guide the nation to forget this sort of ethnic divide. As Archbishop Mason moves to refurbish this cathedral built back in 1940, he insists work must not only be done on the church, but also the community it thrives in. Ryan Beichu, CNC3 News.